Good evening, I'm Brian Ashley. And I'm Ann Ricker. The polls are open for another three hours in the hotly contested state Senate race between Will Barkley and Darrell Albertine. The cost of the special election will be measured in the millions. The campaign has been bitter and the stakes are very high. This race will help decide control of the state Senate. We start our coverage tonight with 7 News reporter Jessica Kane, who is following voter turnout. She is at the polls at the Watertown Dulles State Office Building. Jessica? Well, Ann and Brian, we've been here about a half hour and we haven't seen a lot of people voting, but election officials say a steady stream of snow has not stopped a steady stream of voters from coming out for this election. In fact, the Jefferson County Board of Elections says voter turnout has been as high as 30 percent, but there have been some bumps in the road. It was a rocky start in several polling areas because some machines weren't ready. Hours before voting started, the New York State Court of Appeals ruled that Will Barkley has the right to be listed on the Independence Party line. In Jefferson County, some machines did not have Barkley listed on that line. Voters had to use emergency paper ballots for several hours. Everybody's doing everything they can to make sure everything's done right. And we're all, you know, doing 100% what we can do to make everything turn out the way it should. Then came another challenge to voters, the weather. Steady snow pelted the North Country, causing slippery roads. North Country, I lived here all my life. This is nothing. I think it's important if you don't vote, don't complain. The St. Lawrence County Board of Elections describes voter turnout as great. And Jefferson County Board of Elections Commissioner Sean Hennessy says when the totals are tallied, he expects voter turnout to be high, snow or shine. Oh, I think all the advertising, all the media that uh, coverage that we've had thus far is really telling people to get out to the polls, show their civic duty, show their support for the troops, and get out there and vote. Well, no matter how many people come out to vote today, there are still at least 2,300 absentee ballots still to be counted. And if you haven't voted yet, you have until 9 tonight. Anna and Brian. All right, Jessica Kane, thanks very much. On this special election day in St. Lawrence County, there was some confusion at the polls today. That's because the 48th Senate District does not include all of St. Lawrence County, just a portion of it. It does include the city of Ogdensburg, where these folks were casting their votes today. To add to the confusion, the 118th Assembly District, represented by Assemblyman Darrell Aubertine, does include some of St. Lawrence County. Go to www.nytv.com for a list of what towns are voting in this special election. Well, both candidates in today's special election cast their votes this morning in their hometowns. Republican Will Barkley voted at the courthouse in Pulaski, a building named after his father, longtime state senator Doug Barkley. Will Barkley's wife Margaret and his two sons accompanied him. Barkley says he remains confident. It feels great. We're happy election day is here. We're very excited. As we've said all along, we feel very confident about today, but uh, we're hoping the weather continues to be okay and all our supporters get out to the polls. Democrat Darrell Aubertine voted in Cape Vincent this morning with his wife Margaret and two of his three children at his side. Aubertine also feeling confident going forward. I'm very positive. I think the message that we've put out there has resonated with the voters and uh, we're pleased about that and we remain optimistic.